Hello and welcome to our fifth creative writing workshop for children and their families. I'm Rachel Plummer and this is a series of creative writing workshops that I'm making available for free online to anyone who might find them useful. If you'd like to be kept updated with these workshops you can click on the subscribe button and please do give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the videos. This week we're going to be thinking and writing about Earth Day. Earth Day on the 22nd of April is a day of celebration of our planet and a day to be extra aware of pollution, climate change and the negative impact humans can have on the environment. Each week we start with a warm-up and this week for our warm-up I thought we could try playing a game where we think of an animal for every letter of the alphabet. So for A I might think of antelope or anteaters or an albatross. And for B, uh, maybe I'd think of a bison or a butterfly. I'm going to show each letter of the alphabet on the screen for a few seconds so you can think of an animal. But feel free to pause the video if you need more time. And if you're stuck on one, you can just skip it. OK, are you ready? Here we go. How did you do? Did you think of an animal for all of them? If you like, you could go back and try to do this exercise again with plants or maybe fruits or vegetables. I wonder if it would work with the name of countries too. For our next activity, I'd like you to take a piece of paper, preferably A4 sized paper, and fold it into a brochure. First, you take the piece of paper and measure it. Then divide that number by 3 to work out where to make your folds. Fold the paper in thirds, from the right side first and then the left. If this is too tricky for you, you can just fold the paper in half to make a more simple brochure. With this paper, you're going to make a holiday brochure about the planet Earth for any aliens who might want to visit. You can draw pictures of Earth's greatest sights and tourist attractions, or print them out and stick them into your brochure. You can write tantalising descriptions of how much fun a holiday on Earth might be, and even invent some prices for different types of holiday. Pause the video to make your brochure, then come back. I bet your brochure looks fantastic. 
If you'd like to send me a picture of it, you can ask a grown-up to email me at writewithrachel at gmail.com or they can find me on Twitter at writewithrachel. For our next activity, I'd like you to imagine that you're the one who's gone on holiday to another planet and write a postcard that you'd send to your friends back on Earth. It can be any planet you like, whether it's one that's in our solar system or one that you've made up or anything you like. You can even design a picture for the front of your postcard of the planet you've gone to visit. How does your postcard look? I bet it's brilliant. For our next activity, I'm going to read a poem by a wonderful American poet called Joy Harjo. Her poem is titled Remember. Remember by Joy Harjo Remember the sky that you were born under. Know each of the stars' stories. Remember the moon. Know who she is. Remember the sun's birth at dawn. That is the strongest point of time. Remember sundown and the giving away to night. Remember your birth, how your mother struggled to give you form and breath. You are evidence of her life and her mother's and hers. Remember your father. He is your life also. Remember the earth, whose skin you are. Red earth, black earth, yellow earth, white earth, brown earth. We are the earth. Remember the plants, trees, animal life, who all have their tribes, their families, their histories too. Talk to them. Listen to them. They are alive poems. Remember the wind. Remember her voice. She knows the origin of this universe. Remember you are all people and all people are you. Remember you are this universe and this universe is you. Remember all is in motion, is growing, is you. Remember language comes from this. Remember the dance language is, that life is. Remember. If you'd like to hear Joy reading this herself, I've included a link in the video description to a video on YouTube. It's a beautiful poem and well worth listening to in her own voice. I love the form of this poem, the way every line starts with the instruction to remember. When we phrase things as instructions like this, it's called the imperative tense. You can also think of the imperative tense as being commands or requests. I think it makes the poem feel like the writer is talking directly to me when I'm reading it. What do you think? For this exercise, we're going to write a poem about the earth, using the same form as Joy has used here in her poem. So each sentence will start with remember. What would you like people to remember about our planet and the plants and animals who live here? Pause the video to write your remember poem now. How did that go? If you managed to finish your poem, you could record yourself reading it out loud. If you like, you could even ask a parent to send it to me and I could include it in the next workshop video. For our final workshop activity today, I'd like you to make a poster about an environmental issue you care about. So it could be about pollution, recycling, renewable energy, protecting forests or anything you like. It could even be about the school strikes for climate action. 
Once you've made your poster, you can put it up in one of the windows of your home so that passers-by can see it and be reminded to take care of our planet. I hope you've had fun writing today. If you've enjoyed the workshop, you can click on the like and subscribe buttons. Please do also share these videos with your friends. I'd like them to be available to any families who might find them useful. For now, I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy writing.